Top of the morning, folks. We are here in La Crosse, Wisconsin on the Mississippi River, and it's day two of practice, and guess what I just did? I'm gonna show you guys. So I just launched my boat. There's no dock here, so it's kind of a unique situation as far as launching, okay? So I backed my boat down to where it was halfway off the trailer, and I was about to hop on the back of my truck in order to access my boat, you know, motor it off, then I'll park it and all that. Well, I step on the back of my truck and slip, okay? And I'm not even in the water yet, and I'm completely drenched. I fell off the back of my truck and landed on my side in about six inches of water. Kaboosh! Hurt pretty bad. But that's how we kicking things off this week. Not to mention yesterday, I spent three hours stuck on a sandbar. That sucked. Uh, thought I blew my engine up. Thank God Mercury builds a excellent product. I used my engine to pull myself off. I uh, thought I blew it up, but I went to the service trailer, got everything checked out. Everything's A-OK, -okay. but boy, what a trying couple of days. This place, the upper Mississippi, excellent fishery, really cool place. A lot of largemouth and smallmouth, both shallow current grass type fishing, frogs and all that. It's a really cool place, but this place could be very, very dangerous to navigate. And just like I did yesterday, you can hurt yourself in this morning. So. We're gonna try to avoid that and we're gonna try to find us a few bass and catch some. That is the plan. Let's see if I can at least get into my boat without busting my face wide open. All right guys, so I'm out here practicing this day two. Just snapped me one of these guys. Looks familiar, right? Good old smallmouth, but unlike Sturgeon Bay and most smallmouth fishery, this fish right here was in less than a foot of water. And they sit on these current seams and these hard hitting places. And I'm getting a weight on him because I want to see what he is. He's a 113, so it's not quite a two pounder, but he's a solid fish. You get four or five of those, four of those, and you mix in a four pounder or something like that. Let me give you guys a kind of look at what I'm doing. So you can see the bank just right here. Current's hitting it really, really hard coming from this direction. And there's all kind of little cuts and backwaters and undercut banks. And I can see the bottom. So I want you guys to look at my graph right here. My graph's reading. 1.1 so it's legit foot and a half right here at the most but if you look up on that point right there you can see that little stick sticking out the water that's where that fish was at so they get crazy shallow here uh it's, it's, it's a trip i flipped that fish you know you pitch up on that undercut bank it goes down 10 12 inches and boom you get bit and it's a, it's a small mouth it's crazy but anyway sometimes they're large mouth too they mix in occasionally you'll catch a three or four pounder on rare occasion i haven't done that yet but it happens all right change spots that's another brown fish man i'm getting a lot more small mouth bites than i have large mouth this guy's only a 115 basically a two pounder decent but we need them bigger than that thanks big dog Boy, they pull hard in that current. I thought he was a big one. All right, guys, and sometimes we out here fishing, we catch weird stuff. So today's weird catch is gonna be that guy. Where are you going, boss? Let me get you back in the water. Oh, hang on, hang on. Don't get from back there, dude. I gotta get you from back here. Okay, all right, we got you. Oh, Mr. Frog. I guess what he bit? Yeah, a frog. Frog, biting frogs. All right, let's see if, how far you can leap. There's a contest for this. Go. Into the lake. One more. Come on. One more bounce. Come on. Come on, one more bounce. <laughs> there he goes. All right, just about to wrap the day up of practice. Decided to hit a little offshore spot in the Black River. And look what we got. Look at that big old nasty sucker. Well, he ain't that nasty. Somebody would actually like to eat him. Good flathead. Goodness gracious, this thing, I'm gonna weigh it. It's big and it's probably 15 pounds or so. Let's see. What you weigh, fat daddy? Oh. All right. 15.6. 15.6. Gosh, Lee, that's a freaking big one. 
15 pounder. Jeez. All right, big dog. I'm gonna get a picture of you. All right, folks, top of the morning. We are here trying to run across from this launch ramp. We thought it was gonna be kind of sneaky. We could launch across from Stoddard and run across to check in. Not so sneaky. Yeah, not so sneaky. So, so we wait and we get into this line and try not to <laughs> tear nothing up and crash. <laughs> so, I uh, just put a lot of boats. A lot of boats, which is good. All right, so it wouldn't be right if I didn't forget something in my truck because it's tournament morning. That's how it always goes. So an FLW tour or a pro series, we can use nets. And I got a net, just forgot the sucker in the back of my truck. So I got to dig deep to find it. Let's see. One on my hook, I need to at least make sure I catch him. <laughs> we got him. The net, that is. Hopefully we catch enough fish to where we actually need this rascal. It's been a little bit rough out here on the Mississippi River. Lots of small fish, man. Lots of small guys. So, hopefully we find some megans today. Be nice, be real nice. All right, about to get going finally after the fog delay. It's about to go down. Boat number 80 doing at 4.15 today. And just like that, magically, all the fog's gone. It's so crazy. We just drove through the thickest fog bank safely, carefully, really slow. Slow meaning like 30, 40 mile an hour, but anyway. Then you get pop out on the other side, it's like they never even have fog, it's crazy. But anyways, this is where we're headed. Probably looks very familiar to a lot of folks. little guys all right we just getting rolling this morning guys trying a little little bit of top water this morning there's a lot of bait fish in this area a lot of shad and there's a lot of fish and if you watch you'll probably even see in the camera you'll see them busting occasionally out in front of us and behind us and uh, we're just trying to take advantage of that more or less some scattered milfoil not milfoil excuse me eelgrass and that's what these fish are are using to ambush these shad and there's quite the algae bloom going on here this morning but nevertheless they're still they're still in here see there's shad popping right there they're real active guy little dude he might not even make the team he sure got it the way you want him to get it though jeez <laughs> starting a day off using one of these bad boys that's okay though and what did you know a keeper look at that on the board baby oh they're blowing up right there behind me and he weighs a whopping, drum roll, one seven. I'm happy to have him. You gotta break the ice, okay? So never be mad at your first keeper bite. I don't care how big or small he is. Always appreciate him. 
or her, preferably her. We like being on the board. One seven. Little guy. Hey, right, small guys need love too. That one that came up back there, of course. Yes, baby. Yes, there we go. Just gotta take your time. Man. Goodness gracious. Why did I not come here first? You live and you learn. You live and you learn. Gosh. Well, it's all about decision making. Sometimes you make the right one, sometimes you make the wrong one. But you make one and you stick to it and you and you deal with it. But then you can always adjust. And make it happen. Never count yourself out. Make sure I'm retie so we don't have any issues. And we're back. Might have been a bluegill or something. I don't know. <laughs> Felt something. Oh, something got excited. Dude. That's fishing, man. That's that right there is why we while we do it. I'm gonna let that chill out. Yeah. Hug this tight. Yeah. Yep, you got it. They gotta be 14, right? Pretty sure. Yeah, 14. He's not. They're gonna come to us live in a little bit. I feel that down in there, dude. I'm like, get out of there. Yeah, so we just made a major move about a 20 minute run as you guys can see total change of environment pretty quick there not quite back to back but almost back to back two and a half pounders which uh, i knew those that caliber of fish lived here i just felt like i could catch more fish doing what i was doing earlier and i don't know we we might have we might have should have been here all morning tough break on that one on my on my end as far as decision making goes but we're here now we're gonna make the most of it just throwing this little jig a little finesse jig these fish in these shoots they're big on crawfish and it's crazy you see all this grass and all this habitat you'll you'll make a flip and catch large mouth and then you'll make another flip and boom they'll be they'll be small mouth so it's uh real cool how they how they mix here which is good because that gives you a lot of opportunity for quality fish as well. So, it is what it is, we're here now. We just gotta make the most of it. I don't wish I would've done this first, but you know how that, that goes, hindsight's always, and I mean always 2020. Just wanna hit this one little tree Oh God. Oh 
Oh, I'm trying to put him back in the water or something. He ain't much. He's longer than that last guy. Jeez. I don't know if he's gonna cut the cut it lengthwise though. That's the only thing. What do you know? He touches. Yes, number five, baby. Barely, but number five. He got a little belly on him too. Look at you. Got the audacity to have you on a little baby belly shirt. It was looking bad earlier, man. Man, it was like, dude, I, I caught him almost vertical. I dropped it straight down in front right there. And he was sitting there. And that's where I'm at right now. Just needing to make some good, clear decisions. Pull up on the right stuff at the right time. Just like we did. And I was debating. I was torn between coming here and the other area we started, you know, and as you can see, I probably made the wrong decision, but, you know, just a little bit of tournament experience, man, just told me that, you know, it's never too late to pull the plug, pack it up, and, and start over or try something different. We did a little bit, all three, we did all of that. Packed it up, tried something different, pulled the plug, everything, but now we got five, peace of mind, decent amount of time left to fish. Just need to, just need to keep rolling. Just keep on rolling. Whew. All right, kind of a tough day on the pond, but we managed to catch us five. I'm gonna let y'all check these little rascals out. All right, y'all, look, babies. Hey, we happy to have them bad boys. It was so rough. I had one bass at 11. So it went from one bass at 11 to five bass by the time it's time to check in. I couldn't have been here. I am right now. Huh? You see these? You see these babies I got? <laughs> Working with them babies. Whatever. What you got? Uh, on my scale, it said 1094. We got, we got clothes. Okay. Yeah, a little bit. Not much, but a little something. All right, we're about to drop them on the scales. Go see Mr. Jones. Oh, I can't complain. Am I on the right? Hold it out. Okay, I'm on the right one. Yeah, I always forget. About three or four years ago, when a guy that catches them all over the country, everywhere we go, just came off a great tournament with the Bass Pro Tour. Yes, Sturgeon sir. Bay, man. Yeah, how's it going? You guys put on a great show up there. Five today for MDJ. Good start. 11 pounds, five ounces, got you in 28th place. Beautiful. Thank Martin you, sir. Martin Jr. Good job, man. And I'll make you part of my YouTube video. I hope you don't mind. Oh, that's all right. This is really cool how you guys are taking orders. Yeah. Out of a turkey blind. Huh? This is a turkey blind. So, yeah. yeah that's that's dope so look i'm here at culver this is one of my favorite places i always stop in here whenever i'm coming wisconsin to get some ice cream so i'm just gonna get a small vanilla uh custard thing the concrete mixer uh pro uh like the it's like froyo but not yeah did you want like the mixer it's like <laughs> no i want to eat it like with a spoon yeah, yeah that's the mixer yep you, okay yeah yeah, I'm gonna I'm 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 trust your judgment on this. Can I get out straight right there? Yep. Okay, cool. That might be easier so I don't take out your turkey blind. <laughs> <laughs> Let me just go ahead and lay it out there. This right here is unbelievable. 
It's like crack. I promise. Wisconsin bread crack right here. Culver's. Y'all need to chill out. All right, we back after them again. This is day two. Anyways, getting back after it again this morning. Beautiful sunrise this morning. Coming up. Yes, sir. And we launched over here at a place called Wildcat. And we got to make a little bit of a jog over to Stoddard, where the tournament's taken out of. So we're going to run over there, go through boat check real quick. Call her good. Hopefully we catch some bass today. Here. Yes, sir. Pretty sure you fortune will watch. Just make sure you are. Oh, goodness gracious, you was going crazy, buddy. <laughs> wow, that dude was going nuts. Definitely 14 inches. These ball mob, they just don't weigh much. But right now, very happy to have them. That's number five. All right. So the deal is just hitting these, these hard hitting places. Anywhere the current's hitting really hard, it makes a little bit of a point. Definitely the deal, and then I'm taking a little bit of this spike it dye getting a little getting a little orange on there you gotta be kidding me you got gotta be kidding me Real, my reel popped off. Dude, I about lost that fish. Oh my goodness. Dude, what a freaking mess. What a mess. What a mess, but that's number three. Oh my goodness. <clears throat> he smashed that boss bait. Yeah, baby. 
Look at that. Dangling him around in the tree for a little bit. Come see me. Got an ounce out of him. Hey, every ounce count. We done made the cut. I done slid in by the skin of my teeth. I'm sitting in 49th place. We gotta catch a monster bag today, which here on the Mississippi River right now is like a 13 pound bag to make some serious moves. Old Ranger just bouncing down the river. Ah, oh, that's all good, ain't going nowhere. Yeah, it's fine. I'm gonna walk out. To, I'm, I'm gonna walk out to your rig. I think I'm gonna stay on eight. So way out there. I don't know if you can see that, but that's my boat, just floating down the river. <laughs> I, I dumped it. I said, Adrian, wait for me. Let me hop on a ride with you. Which he's looking out, but <laughs> my boat is just she rolling. Luckily, it's the channel, so there shouldn't be nothing to hit. But on this place, it might be. I don't know. It's always something to hit. These boys. They no. eat. They eating up with this face. So I'm the only one out of out of us. We all made the dang cut, right? I'm the only one on the Zoom meeting. Oh, that's what you want. <laughs> yeah. Oh, literally. I've been hey, J Dub is J Dub's in a tournament meeting. He's our eyes and ears this week. So, if it needs to be known, J Dub's gonna tell us. Meanwhile, me, DC, and Adrian and Brody, we just drinking spotted cows. All right. So here's the deal today. We're gonna have to catch. A really big bag i've had back-to-back -back 11 pound bags which has been you know decent for sure it's got me inside the 50 cut out of 200 guys but another 11 pound bag which i wouldn't be mad about wouldn't be mad about any of it but i need probably upwards of 13 to make a jump in the leaderboard to get to some more money and we probably need something like the biggest bag this week to crack that top 10 so it's fishing man all of it's possible that's for sure so we're gonna go out and have ourselves a good time running around. I got my marshal today, Mr. Dave. He's gonna roll along with us. And we're just gonna have a good time, regardless of what we catch. We're gonna have a good time, share some stories, I'm sure, with a couple hook sets. So, yep.
monkey. He's a little fat little guy. Number two, little chunkster. Yes, sir. All right, let's hit the stage one time. You're not following him on social media. You're missing out, man. All right, Mark, here we go, man. You come into today in 49th place. Super tournaments have been good to you oh, so yeah. far, man. He's got a five bass limit today worth 10 pounds, five ounces. It does move you all the way up from 49th to 35th. Oh, so, yeah. Mark, not going fishing awesome. tomorrow, but another good super tournament and a good payday for you. No doubt, man. Anytime you can make the day three cut, top 50 cut with these guys, it's, it's been a great week. Uh, man, I really like fishing out here on the Mississippi River, man. But for whatever the reason was this week, it was really hard to come by those better bites. Love this guy, man. Right Good on. job, Thank MDJ. You, Mark Daniels Jr. All right. That's all she wrote. Y'all have a good one, Bill. Take care of yourself. I'm going home for a few days. I'm going to head back to Alabama and then head on back up to uh, San Dusty. Yeah, I'm going home for a few days. I'm going to head back to Alabama and then head on back up to uh, okay, San Dusky, yeah, so you're, you're Oh yeah, I've been there for oh seven years okay. now. Yeah, it's been a while. Yeah, it's been a long time, man. But now, where do you live at? There? I live in a little town called Tuskegee. Okay, so yeah. that's where you went to college. Exactly. Is that where you're... All right, we rolling up tonight menu. Y'all got a guess what we eating tonight? Let's see how good you guys are. Give you a minute to think about that. But anyways, about to go in, about to get dinner, just wrapped up. Day number three, we made the cut. We uh, we moved up a few places, but not enough to fish tomorrow. And not enough, how about this? I fished another day in hopes that I can make some more money. That didn't happen either. I think I finished like 36 or 37. I gotta get the final text message from FOW to figure that out, but nevertheless, it was a, it was a good week. Got my dog with me, Mr. Ben Otto, hey. I think I told y'all this already, but I'm gonna say again, me and Ben go all the way back to 2013. He was in the top 10 representing, uh, what division was it? Northern. Northern, representing Northern Division for the TBF National Championship. And what, you remember what place he finished in that tournament? Fifth, I think. He finished fifth. Me and him been cool ever since. He told me at the time, he said, hey Mark, if you ever find yourself in Wisconsin, you need to look me up. I'm and, I'm, go and I'm right? thinking to myself, are we going the wrong way? I'm thinking to myself, Ben, why in the hell would I ever be in Wisconsin at the time, right? Man, I've been in Wisconsin like five times now. I feel like I feel like a local. I drink spotted cows and I eat cheese curds. That's what you do when you come to Wisconsin. Oh, and Culver's. Culver's. Do you like right. Culver's? Oh, absolutely. Bro, Culver's? Oh, butter I've, burgers. Butter burgers? Yeah. See, I've never even had a burger there. Is that's weird, huh? Yeah, you gotta I just get that ice cream, dude. The little mustard. The cut, bro. I call that Wisconsin crack. That's what that is. All right, so for dinner tonight, y'all was wondering, y'all was guessing. Oh yeah, I told J Dub we didn't add enough raw fish this week. Plus, I've been fishing all this week. I'm whooped. It's time to eat a steak, sit down, and be happy. 
Let's go. Right, so Cut you. Oh, Over oh, all, oh, all the years that I've been fishing, today I had some happen. Never have had happen. And it ain't what y'all think it is. So anyway, this place low key kind of sucks right now. The weights are really low. It's a really great fishery. It's just the water's low. It's really, really hot. Anyway, long story short, I, I skis around the corner. I told Marshall, my Marshall, I said, hey man, I said, uh, I do got a little spot over here. We're gonna catch some on top water, like a spook. He said, you need know how it is. He's like, okay, okay, whatever. Look, I ease around the corner. For real, Mark. I ease around the corner. And as soon as I ease around the corner, I said, hey. I looked at him. He said, God, look at him schooling. I said, yeah, look at them dots. <laughs> I had to wait for it. Damn where they were schooling at. I knew where they were. And, and like, I fired my spook out there. First guess, I said, get ready. Lean into it. Started fighting the boat. And then it started, it started doing this. And I was like, double? Triple. <laughs> hey, you lying. Triple on a spook. You lying. I'm not lying. Ask my man, ask you Marshall. Triple. triple. So I reel up, I reel him up. I'm like, what the fuck? I got a big one. And I knew, I knew something was up. Look, when I get him to the boat, I'm not playing. I had three on my spook and they were sitting there flopping. And I, what did I can do? I tried to swing them in. One of them come off and I caught two of them. Wow, what the Lord they weigh? 113. That's the, oh, that's the 113 <laughs> hole. That's the 113 oh, hole. For a three of them? Three. I had three on one spook. I've never had that in my life. Green ones or brown ones? I had, uh, the, the one that come off was the brown one. And, and there were two more. Oh, these was large mouth. Yeah, okay. So, uh, you put all the drinks like that. All right, it's never official until we get the official text from FLW. 37th place is how we ended up here at the Mississippi River. It's just how we shaking. Good week. Can't complain. Got paid. On to the next one.